And I'm Eric Ryan at the top of Bald Mountain in Sun Valley, Idaho. Here's to the National Nordic Museum Skull. Oswald Bjelland sending our greetings to the National Nordic Museum in Seattle, where we have been so many times to see your beautiful city and the museum. And we are sending our greetings from... Bjelland, uh, the western part of Norway. Skål for the Nordic Museum. All the best, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye. Skål to the National Nordic Museum! Welcome back! We all could use a little Higge now. And the home of Higge in Seattle is the National Nordic Museum in Ballard. Welcome. Online reservations make sure there's plenty of room for your visit. The museum's wide open spaces make it fun and easy to stay safe. You might learn something new about those Vikings. always have new exhibits for you to explore. The National Nordic Museum is your community space. Come to be inspired by the stories and the Nordic values. And enjoy the museum store. Then stop at our Freya Cafe for some treats. And when you come to the museum, add in a stroll around Ballard for some of the best shops and restaurants in Seattle. We miss you. Hope to see you soon.
And I'm Eric Ryan at the top of Bald Mountain in Sun Valley, Idaho. Here's to the National Nordic Museum Skull. Skull. Oswald Bjelland sending our greetings to the National Nordic Museum in Seattle, where we have been so many times to see your beautiful city and the museum. And we are sending our greetings from... Bjelland, of the western part of Norway. Skull for the Nordic... You, Sam. All the best, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye. Skål to the National Nordic Museum! Skål! Hey, it's Willie Manchester, for the Red A. Uploads some snow crab, and we just wanted to give a skull to the National Nordic Museum. Skål! We are open. Welcome back. We all could use a little Higgin now. And the home of Higgin in Seattle is the National Nordic Museum in Ballard. Welcome. Online reservations make sure there's plenty of room for your visit. The museum's wide open spaces make it fun and easy to stay safe. You might learn something new about those Vikings. always have new exhibits for you to explore. The National Nordic Museum is your community space. Come to be inspired by the stories and the Nordic values. And enjoy the museum store. Then stop at our Freya Cafe for some treats. And when you come to the museum, add in a stroll around Ballard for some of the best shops and restaurants in Seattle. We miss you. Hope to see you soon.
I'm Eric Ryan at the top of Bald Mountain in Sun Valley, Idaho. Here's to the National Nordic Museum Skull. Skull. Oswald Bjelland sending our greetings to the National Nordic Museum in Seattle, where we have been so many times to see your beautiful city and the museum. And we are sending our greetings from... Bjelland, at the western part of Norway. Skull for the Nordic Museum. All the best, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye. Skull to the National Nordic Museum. Welcome back! We all could use a little Higge now. And the home of Higge in Seattle is the National Nordic Museum in Ballard. Welcome. Online reservations make sure there's plenty of room for your visit. The museum's wide open spaces make it fun and easy to stay safe. You might learn something new about those Vikings. always have new exhibits for you to explore. The National Nordic Museum is your community space. Come to be inspired by the stories and the Nordic values. And enjoy the museum store. Then stop at our Freya Cafe for some treats. And when you come to the museum, add in a stroll around Ballard for some of the best shops and restaurants in Seattle. We miss you. Hope to see you soon. The world was created from nothing. A vast emptiness with no beginning or end. where fire breathed warmth and light. Flames reached across the void to melt the ice. And from the melting water, life emerged.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 35th annual Virtual Northern Lights Auction, celebrating the National Nordic Museum. Willkommen, 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 Turvotoloa, willkommen. I'm sorry if I didn't do those perfectly. Uh, we are so, so excited and happy to have so many of you here um, celebrating this community uh, of the National Nordic Museum, and it is all of you that make it possible uh, here we are gathering again in this virtual safe and hopefully you are cool wherever you are. If you're not as cool as you wish you were, just think of your favorite Nordic country and how cool that country usually is. And maybe that will help you. Um, we of course gathered this way last year and, and this, this year we have so much to celebrate um, as the Nordic spirit has carried us through uh, a challenging year. Um, the, the National Nordic Museum is unique in that in the United States, it represents all five Nordic countries and 12,000 years of Nordic history. And we all know that the Nordic people, as many peoples, have endured many challenges and have persevered. And we have emerged from this time of this national pandemic uh, with the opportunity to begin the important work of recovery. And it is your generosity this evening that makes it possible for the museum to be, stay strong and to continue to serve our community and region and the entire nation. So thank you, thank you so much. Uh, it, is, it is all of your support that makes it possible for us to be a, an ongoing leader and to, to continue to bring world-class programs into the homes and exhibition spaces at exhibition spaces at the museum's hall and galleries. So thank you so much for being here this evening. We have many fun things and I can see that so many of you are here with us this evening. And just a, uh, a little uh, potential uh, advice. We invite you to consider using two devices as you are participating in tonight's virtual Northern Lights auction. One device is the one that you're watching on right now, like a computer, maybe it's a big smart screen or a laptop, whatever it is. And the second device is the smaller one, like your phone or tablet. And that is where you want to be logged into our auction software, Greater Giving, so that you can bid on all of the amazing live auction and silent auction items that we will be having this evening. Once you find uh, Greater Giving, and I will say that the link is available right at the top of the chat bar. If you're looking for the link, and look, it just magically appeared in the chat, uh, you're gonna want to click on the Get Started just here, and then you'll be able to log in and register in Greater Giving. Once you are all registered and you've put in the appropriate information, you will start being able to see our incredible live auction items and silent auction items. When you find one or two or six or 12 that you really like, you can use the star that will allow you to um, indicate your favorite items. This will make it very easy for you to find them when later we do the live auction part of our live auction. And I will tell you, if you were with us last year, the live auction gets pretty fast and a little competitive and it is actually going to happen live. So using that star feature will keep your favorite items right where you need them when the live part happens in just a few minutes. Also, another way to be sure that the live auction items you are hoping will be yours do in fact come to your house are to set a max bid. So if you hit the blue bid more button, uh, if you are looking at this view, or if you're on your mobile device, you can hit the red set max bid. And this is how you make the robots do your bidding for you. Because when you set a max bid, the computer will bid on your behalf up to that amount against other people who are trying to take away your fishing trip. Right now, Eric, nicely done, you're still the top bidder on the fishing trip, or maybe somebody's gonna try to take away the Norwegian Christmas dinner that Scott, you are currently the top bidder, but Mina is not far behind. One way to ensure that you maintain your position as the top bidder is to use that max bid bid more feature and then uh, when, like I said, when it gets really fast and a little bit uh, competitive, uh, then you'll stay in the lead. So make sure you um, check those out. And then also, if at any point you would like assistance with maybe bidding or greater giving or anything else related to our virtual 
uh, Northern Lights Auction, please reach out, send an email to Rachel B at nordicmuseum.org, or you can call her at 206-789-5707, extension 7024. If you are, you know, wondering, uh, you know, maybe you're really hoping to donate something very valuable like gold or cryptocurrency or uh, maybe a boat, um, and you're not sure how to do that in the auction software, just reach out to Rachel and we can help any of those things happen. Um, so uh, we're so, so grateful to have so many of you here. And I can see that many of you are here and are joining us in the chat. So Rosemary, hi, nice to see you as well. And Elizabeth, hi to you. And yes, to Lisa um, and Tom, it's so great to see you from our board. Um, we would love to invite all of you to come join us in our chat because this is where you can um, enjoy each other's company and also there are gonna be some special guests that you can applaud for. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Sir Nelson, I see that you are eating perhaps something delicious. I hope that's true. Um, please come and join us in the chat and if you have not done so already, it's very easy. You just have to create a free YouTube account which YouTube calls a channel. But don't worry, hi Maya, nice to see you too. Um, once you do these steps, you select here and uh, select over here and click over here, you can see how it's done. You'll be able to create uh, a, a free YouTube account and then you'll be able to join us. Yes, um, Eric, I too am drinking cold water because yes, it's very, very warm. Um, and we invite all of you to stay as hydrated and cool as you can. Um, so please come join us in the chat and you'll notice that at the top of the, uh, the top of the chat box, it might say top chat or live chat. Make sure yours says live chat. That way you will be able, uh, that, uh, that you'll be able to see all of the chats and, um, Captain Hans, I hope you're referring to very good fishing and not that it's like literally the water on fire because it's 100 degrees out there on the water. Um, but I, I hope it's good fishing happening. Um, and, and of course we noticed that there's a fishing opportunity in our live auction. I'm sure all of you have already found that. And at the bottom of the chat box, one last thing, make sure you find the emojis. The emojis are right down there uh, where that gray smiley face is. And you can see, I can see that uh, many of you are finding them. Um, yes, Lisa, skull to you as well. Uh, I, you can find the, the skull emoji or any other emojis that you might like. They're right down there. Um, this is the moment to find one specific emoji. Uh, oh, all four got their limit. I'm so glad. Um, one way to find an emoji that you're looking for is to use the colon. If you type colon and then type words, for example, that, that emoji is clap. So if you type colon and then the word clap, you will find the clapping hands just like this. And uh, we would love to have you put your virtual hands together right now. Please give a huge round of applause. Everyone, find the clapping emoji because we wanna give a very big applause to some special guests from the other Washington. Here they are. Dear friends of the National Nordic Museum, my name is Karin Olofsdotter and I'm the ambassador of Sweden to the United States. I am sad that I'm not able to be with you in Seattle this evening to celebrate our community and the National Nordic Museum. But I'm really honored to send you this greeting from Washington DC for this year's gala dinner. I truly appreciate the close collaboration that the Embassy has with the National Nordic Museum. I'm so impressed with your exhibitions and events, not least during this past year. And I'm really happy to see that you're able to open your doors for visitors again. I can't wait uh, to visit Seattle soon and to hopefully meet many of you in person. So until then, thank you so much for attending this evening's event and for supporting the museum. Skål! Hello everyone, I am Anneke Knutnes, the Norwegian ambassador to the US, and I'm happy to be with you in this virtual gala and to share a skull with you. Have a fantastic gala tonight. Skull! Hello everyone. Greetings from Washington DC. I am Berktis Ellestotter, the ambassador of Iceland to the United States. I don't believe it's a year since I did exactly the same thing and we're still, still virtual. I do hope that I will be visiting the wonderful National Nordic Museum in Seattle in person soon 
But until then, enjoy yourselves in this important event for the museum. Uh, looking forward to seeing you all. Scout. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lone Denga Vispo, and I'm the ambassador of Denmark to the United States. I'm sorry I'm not able to be with you in person uh, this evening to celebrate the National Nordic Museum. Thank you all for being here and supporting the museum. Enjoy the evening and I look forward to the next time I can visit Seattle. Skål! Hello everyone. My name is Mikko Hautala and I'm the ambassador of Finland to the United States. Unfortunately, I'm not able to be with you in Seattle this evening to celebrate the National Nordic Museum. I'm looking forward to visiting Seattle, hopefully later this fall. I'm very pleased that some of Finland's greatest landscape masterpieces are hanging in the museum through October. I send you good wishes uh, from other Washington. Keep peace. Thank you so much, ambassadors, for all that you do um, to continue the relationships that you continue and for all of your support. We hope to see all of you very soon. Uh, in the museum. And I invite you, yes, to continue the applause because there is another group of people without whom we could not be here. The 2021 Northern Lights Auction Committee is an incredibly dedicated group, and we want to welcome and thank all of you auction committee members, Kristen Nesselquist, Jan Blackburn, Healy Suoko, Ann Lisa Berger, Marianne Kine Jackson, Sophia Taylor, Linda Christensen, Sharon Friel, and Nancy Cars Roach. Committee, uh, welcome. We are so glad to have you all here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and for all you've done. Welcome. Hello and welcome to the 2021 Northern Lights Auction. Greetings from the Auction Committee. We hope you have a delightful time tonight. Very, thank you, Committee. We will have a delightful time and thanks to all the work you've done. Um, and also, if you could continue your applause because the other group of people and, and, and organizations that we have to thank are the amazing sponsors that have supported us throughout this year and this evening. So would you give a round of applause to our $5,000 sponsors, Aleutian Spray Fisheries Inc., Glacier Fish Company, Integrated Marine Systems, Chevron, People's Bank, Trident Seafoods, and Chuck and Diane Bundrant. We are so, so grateful for your support. And to our $2,500 sponsors. Yeah, you can, thank you, Jacob. Yes, give them a round of applause. And Blake, and Christina, thank you. And Joanne, thank you, yes. Um, to our $2,500 sponsors, um, American Seafoods, Longfelt Law, PLLC, and Malone Law Group, PS. Thank you, and to all of our wonderful business supporters, we really, really could not do it without you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Mark and Maya, and, and sponsors, I just want you to notice how many people are sending you their support and gratitude in the chat right now. Elizabeth and Anne and Ricky, um, Ricky, thank you, and A. Kramer is giving you a skull. Um, so sponsors, thank you. And your support sponsors is, um, is so um, appreciated and, takes us a long way towards our goal this evening. Tonight, we have a goal of raising $250,000. And thank you, sponsors. Your support takes us well on our way towards that goal of raising $250,000. We are already just about at $50,000. So, um, so thank you so much. And to all of you who are here this evening, um, we are so, uh, so grateful for your attendance and, and uh, your help as we, as we work to, re to achieve this goal. Um, so just a quick reminder that uh, tonight, the, the live auction, all of the live auction items are already open and the bidding on those live auction items has begun and that you might consider bidding on them using a second device. So watching on one device and then bidding on a second device. So that, and that will really help as we um, do the live auction part. Um, I, if you were at the virtual event last year, you know that it does get very fast. And I know some people um, were maybe surprised that we could have such a fast live auction, but it's gonna happen. So now's the moment um, to be making sure that you're logged into Greater Giving. Make sure you register. The link is right here um, if you need it. 
and uh, a reminder that um, all of those items are available. So Eric is currently doing the fishing trip, and as we just heard earlier, the fishing is extremely good, uh, at least today. Uh, Scott, you've got the Norwegian Christmas dinner, and Lisa is in the lead on that uh, wonderful pizza dinner at Chelan. Uh, if you would like to make a bid on any of our live auction items, Check them out right now. Remember that uh, you can use that bid more feature, that max bid, and uh, that will help you. One other thing. Oh, Electa, so nice to see you. Thank you, thank you. Um, if you are wondering how to see all of the live auction items, you want to, to click on home in Greater Giving. So up at the top, if you're using a mobile device, you're gonna see those three little lines up at the top of your um, mobile bidding uh, on the mobile device. Those three little lines, some people call them a, a hamburger menu. If you click on that, yep, those three little lines right there, uh, that's where you'll be able to find uh, the home and you'll be able to see all of the live auction items. Um, and then remember, in order to, um, to find your favorite live auction items, you can star the ones that you really like. So you can click the star and that will um, indicate your favorite items and then you'll be able to find them very, very easily. Um, so uh, that's how you're gonna do that. Oh, and one other um, question that has come up. It, when you're registering for Greater Giving, it will ask you if you are already a member. This is in reference to whether you are already a member of Greater Giving's uh, web-based bidding platform and has nothing to do with whether you are a member of the museum. We assume you are all members of the museum, but you might not yet be a member of Greater Giving's web-based uh, bidding platform. So when it says, are you a member, you might not be, even if you are a member of the museum. I know that's slightly Okay, you all get it, great. Oh, and if you're not a member of the museum, please reach out to Rachel B at nordicmuseum.org. Tell her you wanna be a member and we can make that happen, I am sure. Uh, and uh, if, or you can give her a call at 206-789-5707, extension 7024 if you need any assistance. So, the live auction is underway. I see you're all doing it very, very well. That's wonderful. Uh, while you are doing that, there is one other thing we would like to invite you to do. There are so many of us um, who are gathered here virtually this evening. Um, you know, there are 90 screens logged in and we know that there are a number of people at each of those screens. And so there are some few hundred of us all gathered together and we're, we're so grateful that you are here and we would love to see you and we have a way to make that happen. If you take a picture, take a selfie of you and whomever you're with and post it to Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag Nordic Auction with a K 2021. We will be able to see uh, those selfies a little bit later during our event. So please take a selfie um, and, and post it on Twitter or Instagram with hashtag Nordic Auction 2021. Uh, okay, that's okay, Christina, that's fine too. You can just be, you can be comfortable, but we would love pictures of anybody that um, wants to send them in because we'd love to see you. Um, and we also have a tradition at the Northern Lights auction. Um, at Northern Lights auctions of the past, there has been the opportunity to ring the bell. And if you would like to ring the bell this evening, that opportunity is also available. Uh, ringing the bell is a skull for the museum. So every time you would ring the bell, it is $50 to ring the bell, and if you ring it, it will ring right here during our live show. Um, and the, the bell ringing uh, is available right now. If you'd like to do it, uh, just log into Greater Giving and send a skull to the museum. While you are doing all of those things, I get to introduce uh, someone who really needs no introduction. Uh, he is uh, well known. Oh, and somebody's ringing the bell. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, he is the executive director of the National Nordic Museum. Would you please welcome Sir Eric Nelson. Eric, it is so lovely to see you. Welcome, how are you? Thanks so much, Ian. I'm doing great. Thanks so much for being here. I can't tell you how much of a delight it is to see you. It means the auction is here, one of my favorite times of the year. And I hear you, uh, you have a request of me. You want me to take a, a selfie, is that it? Yes, Eric, if you would take a selfie, 
um, and then post it on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag Nordic Auction 2021. We'll be able to see it. Uh, are you, would, would that be all right? Do you mind doing that? I can do that. I can, I'm, in fact, I'm all ready to go. I've got my phone and I've got a little lock of me. So let me try this. Skull! There you go. And I, I guess I should make sure that's legit. Skull, bit often, bit high. We need your support. Ian, you're going to do a fantastic job tonight. I need to thank the committee that worked so hard to put this together. I think staff who was working overtime to bring us this wonderful virtual event. I know next year we're going to be in person and it'll be live. And thank you for bearing with us through this, uh, this fantastic virtual event. Ian, back to you. <laughs> thank you so much, Eric. And yes, Mark is right. Um, we managed to, Eric, you managed to get in everything before the, the, uh, the bell started cutting you off. So skull to all of you. Um, but I'm actually going to wait because we have to do an auction and, you know, there's numbers and things like that. Um, and and just uh, and uh, Maya, it's hashtag Nordic Auction 2021. If you put that on Twitter or Instagram, we will um, be able to see those photos right here in our show. So make sure you do that. Make sure you um, find the uh, the opportunity to ring the bell and send a skull right here um, to the museum. And this evening, you know, in a, uh, as we gather together to celebrate the museum and this incredible community of people. Um, across the country and around the Puget Sound, we reached out uh, to many of our dear friends and we asked, what does the Nordic spirit mean to you? And we asked people if they would send us a photo in advance of what does the Nordic spirit mean to them. And we received so many um, responses, really more than we ever anticipated. And so um, here are a number of, uh, of those photos that capture the stories and generations of families and hope and resiliency. We wanted to share some of those with you. Uh, here is a little bit of what the Nordic spirit means to some of us. Such uh, wonderful, wonderful images. Thank you all for, for sending them. And there will be um, some more coming up. And Eric, thank you. Uh, I see that you took a photo and you posted it. That was perfect. Um, and here are some of, oh yes, yeah, Skull, uh, to Rosie. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, and uh, we're so, oh, we're so glad you're ready. Oh yes, I love it. Thank you. This is exactly right. So remember, hashtag Nordic Auction. That is a great photo right there. That's some um, Nordic spirit for sure. Oh, Sheila, hello, hello. Um, so nice to see you. Um, please continue sending in any selfies um, we want all of those hashtag Nordic Auction 2021. Uh, that, that's how you're going to be able to um, put them in and we will get to see some of those. Okay, so more will be coming. Um, and remember, this is when you can ring the bell anytime you want. You can scroll now. It's open and available. Uh, while you are doing that, I would like to tell you a little bit about our live auction because... The lot. Whoa! There it is. Skull. Skull to whomever. Yes, we're so great. Uh, oh, to the Burgers and Ericsons. Yes. Okay, I see you're scolding. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Arhos. Uh, thank you. Um, our live auction will work like this. We have uh, live auction items, and they will be closing in groups. 
So our first group of live auction items includes items one, two, and three. That is the salmon fishing excursion for two, uh, the wonderful Norwegian Christmas dinner for eight people, and the dinner for eight in Chelan sitting poolside where you get to make your own pizzas and uh, have an incredible view. All three of those live auction items will close at the same time. So if you want to bid on items one, two, or three, this is uh, your opportunity to do so because we're gonna do our first round of live auction items very, very soon. So just uh, to tell you, Eric, you are currently the top bidder on the salmon fishing. Congratulations. And Dana, if you wanna come back. Oh, skull! Nicely done. Okay, ring the bell. Oh, yes, it's Iverson. Thank you. Um, if you wanna, uh, if you want the Norwegian Christmas dinner for eight, Scott, you are currently in the lead. Mina, now's your chance to come back. And remember, an auto bid or a max bid might really, really help. And the That's Amore Chelan package, when, you, when the moon hits your eye, it's like a big pizza pie, right? Okay, uh, that's <laughs> currently Jenny, you are the top bidder, nicely done. Um, but remember, you have time to make your bids right now on items one, two, and three. All of those will be closing at the same time. Skull to whoever is scolding right now, we're so grateful. Uh, make sure that you check out all of those items. And while you are making bids on those, on those first three items specifically, although all of the live auction items are available, we wanted um, to just remember the incredible brand new building that is at the heart of our community. In 2018, this world-class museum opened to great fanfare and some royalty, and it continues to be that center that connects us, bringing world-class exhibitions and programs and collections. And we just wanted to take a minute to remind all of us what a special place it is and how much we can't wait to all be back there. Um, so check out our lovely museum. Every single person I meet and talk about this museum has the same experience. They walk in and there's a moment of awe. And you know there is an adventure ahead of you. And we're thrilled with how successful the grand opening was. As it represents some of the happiest countries in the world, may it also be a source of great happiness for all who visit. Thank you. I think members in the entire community have been overwhelmed um, with the transformation of the Nordic Museum into a world-class institution. The mission of the museum is to share Nordic culture with a broad audience, and we do that through exhibitions, programs, and collections. We also serve as a community gathering place. It's so solidly grounded in the Nordic values. We've used four values, openness, social justice, connection to nature, and innovation to look at 12,000 years of Nordic history. And it's earned its top spot amongst the world's best museums because of that. It's a journey. The layers of stories are so interesting that it depends on my mood what I can walk away with and how I experience it. One day I'm connecting to the story of the immigrants. One day I'm walking through an exhibition. Another day I have a moment of meditation watching beautiful scenic pictures. One of the purposes is to share culture, share artifacts, share uh, evidence of, of past life in the Nordic countries, but another one is uh, what's going on currently. And there, there has been quite a bit of interest in the United States in the, in the Nordic model, so to speak. And I don't think of it as a museum and sort of the stodgy, you come look at static exhibitions. This is a place of learning. I think of this just as an open place to really have dialogue around arts and culture, but also about uh, important policy issues that face all of us. The Nordic Museum that we have here is not like a regular museum. I think it's a, it's a community builder. Museums is not only about the past, it's also about 
I think the future and I think particularly put it, putting together the past and the future is actually a pretty exciting idea and of course the museum itself, the, the, these uh, facilities here are fantastic. My enthusiasm and passion has only grown with this new museum. It just fills my soul to come here every time and give a tour and share its beauty and its history. Anyone who is not a member yet of this museum and who has not yet seen it are missing out greatly. When I leave the National Nordic Museum, I'm filled with optimism. This place is very special. We built this museum to honor our forebears, our parents and our grandparents, and we did it to inspire the next generation, our children and our grandchildren. Skull! <laughs> so many skulls! Thank you all, yes, and, and we can't wait to all be back there. And thank you all so much for sending in lovely um, hashtag photos. So we, can we see a few more of those? Because uh, you've all been sending in, oh, that looks delicious, yes. Oh, so I, hope, I hope some of you are enjoying that lovely thing. Um, and yes, we welcome people, all people, yes, for sure, to discover the spirit of the Nordic countries. Um, and drinking bubbly with Sophia Taylor and watching. Ah, thank you, Greg. Greg and Sophia, welcome. Um, and we're so glad to have you all here. Thank you. And so many of you are scrolling. We love it. Okay, so as you are scrolling, yeah, skull! <laughs> um, don't forget to bid in the live auction because our first group of live auction items. Items one, two, and three. Oh, I see all of these people are, are scrolling. Mina, Vigo, Susan, Jenna, yes, our lovely Sheila, Jenny, Eric. Okay, and e oh, nice. Okay, we're all scrolling for you. Um, wonderful. Even I send you a skull. Uh, the, uh, the first round of live auction items is moments away. So if you want items one, two, or three, that is, the North Puget Sound salmon fishing excursion, six hours of fishing, gear, all with Captain Hans Orhus. Um, this is your opportunity to make a bid right now. Um, also, on item number two, the Norwegian Christmas dinner for eight, this is your opportunity. Make a bid because we are going to uh, sell all three of these items and the That's Amore Chelan, um, the uh, getaway special dinner at the breath breathtaking lakeside home of Elizabeth Bodel. Uh, eight guests will get to make uh, pizza and have prosecco and hors d'oeuvres. Uh, you're gonna have a lovely, lovely evening. So, if you would like items one, two, or three, this is your moment to do it because we are going to start the final countdown on our first round of live auction items. Here we go. Remember that setting a maximum bid is definitely your um, opportunity to ensure that the item comes home with you. Are you ready? We're gonna sell all three of our first three live auction items, our first group of live auction items in two minutes. This is your chance, make a bid. And I can tell you, Eric, you are doing very well on the salmon fishing excursion, nicely done. Dana, Peter, if you wanna make a bid, you have about a minute and 50 seconds to go. Mina, you are currently the top bidder. Oh, and Mina just set up an auto bid because Scott was trying to outbid her on that Norwegian Christmas dinner. Scott, I'm so sorry, but Mina's auto bid is in the lead. You have to keep bidding to find the top of her auto bid. Jenny, you are doing very well on that pizza making opportunity of the beautiful Lake Chelan house and now you only have about a minute and 30 seconds to go on all three of our first three live auction items. Items one, two, and three will all close at exactly the same time in just under a minute and 30 seconds. Eric, you're in the lead on the salmon fishing. Nicely done. Mina's auto bid is in full swing on the Christmas dinner. Jenny's got an auto bid turned on and it looks like Lois wants to get that Christmas on the, the pizza dinner in Chelan but Jenny just turned on auto bid and it's in the lead. Now Lois, this is your chance to come back and make another bid. You've got about one minute to go on items one, two, and three. 
Lois and Jenny both trying to get that pizza making experience in Chelan. And it looks like Eric is just sitting pretty with that salmon fishing. And I'm hearing that the fishes, are, the, the fishes, the fish are biting. So you want to go fishing. And it looks like Mina, you're in the lead on the Norwegian Christmas dinner. We've only got about 45 seconds to go. Scott just outbid Mina. Mina, your auto bid has run out. You've got to set another auto bid because Scott found the top of your auto bid. And now Lois is in the top. Uh oh, Jenny, it looks like Lois outbid you. She's got her auto bid in you're going to have to make another bid. You've got about 30 seconds to go. Make your final bids right now. If anybody wants to bid on item one, two, or three, Mina's in the lead on the Norwegian Christmas dinner. Eric, I can't believe you are doing so well on the fishing trip. Nicely done. Dana, Peter, anybody wants to come back and make one more bid with the fishing, here's your chance to do it. It looks like Mina's in the lead on the Norwegian Christmas dinner. Scott and Mina are going back and forth. You've got 25 seconds remaining to make a bid on items one, two, and three. Lois's auto bid is doing very, very well. Jenny, this is your chance to make one more bid. Lois is in the lead. You've got about 20 seconds remaining. Remaining. Is it the longest 20 seconds of your life? Yes, it's the longest 20 seconds of your life because people are making generous contributions to the Nordic Museum, the National Nordic Museum. Oh, Julie just comes in and she's got the salmon fishing. Eric, I'm so sorry. You're no longer the top bidder. You're going to have to make one more bid. And now you've only got about 15 seconds to go. Mina, you're in the lead on the Norwegian Christmas dinner. Jenny is the top bidder on the Chelan pizza making opportunity. Jenny, you're in the lead. Lois, you've got another opportunity to come back. You've got about 10 seconds to go. Eric is the top bitter on that salmon fishing. Eric, Julie. Okay, wait, Julie, you just recently started bidding. I am going to give you the longest 10 seconds, but you've got to bid really, really quickly. Okay, Julie. And now Scott jumps in on that Norwegian Christmas dinner. Uh-oh, new bidder. Scott, Mina, you got to keep going. You've only got nine seconds to go. Jenny's in the lead on Chelan. You've got eight seconds remaining. Scott and Mina both trying to get the Christmas dinner. Eric is in the lead on the salmon fishing. Julie. Oh, Charles jumps in on the, on the salmon fishing. Oh, I see. There's some strategic going on here. This is how there's everybody's waiting for the last five seconds. Okay, you've got six seconds to go. Last opportunity. Charles, Eric, trying to go fishing. Here's your last chance. Mina's in the lead on the Norwegian Christmas dinner. Nicely done. Scott jumped into the lead. Sorry, Mina. And now you've got to make one more bid. Lois has an auto bid. Wait, Jenny. Lo Lois is in the lead. Jenny, you've got about four seconds to go. Make your final bids. Okay, we have to close this group of live auction items. You've got three seconds remaining. Charles, Eric. Charles is in the lead on the, no on the salmon fishing. Mina's in the lead on the Norwegian Christmas dinner. Scott, if you want, you've got three seconds to go. Last chance to make a bid. You've got two. Lois is doing the pizza. One and sold. Nicely sold. 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 Booty sold. Very nicely done. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, that was a very exciting. Uh, Charles, thank you so much. At the last moment, uh, the North Puget Sound salmon fishing is going uh, to Mr. Charles Royal. Mina, congratulations. And Scott, thank you so much for helping Mina be so generous on that Norwegian Christmas dinner. And Lois comes in uh, with the That's Amore Chelan. Congratulations, Lois. Nicely, nicely bid. Uh, and to everyone, you can now see how this is all going to happen. All of the remaining live auction items are still open. All of the remaining live auction items are still open. You can bid on items four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven right now. So in just a, a couple of moments, we'll be doing the next round. But if you want to bid on any item, make sure that you are bidding uh, now and using the, the star feature to find your favorite items because, you know, it gets a little fast and competitive when, when it starts happening. Uh, before we go on to our next round of um, live auction items, uh, auction committee, would you offer us a little skull? We would be so grateful uh, because, you know, things are going quite well to the auction committee, skull. All right. And so from your auction committee, we wish you skull. <laughs> Thank you, auction committee, and for ringing the beautiful bell uh, with Seattle. And remember, you can all ring the bell anytime you want. Uh, make sure you're ringing the bell um, for a skull for the National Nordic Museum. We would be so, so grateful if you would. Uh, okay, group number two of live auction items is coming up. And the second group of live auction items includes 
uh, items four, five, and six. That is the Kameno Island package, the Enchanted Beach Evening for six, uh, this beautiful opportunity to go and hang out um, in Bremerton, and item number seven, the Backcountry Ski Package for two at Crystal. And I just wanna point out how nice and cold it will be when you go backcountry skiing. It will be so cool and cold, but you'll have the right gear because it's all included in the package. And if, you know, on a day like today, Skull! Nice to see you, there goes the bell. If on if a day like today you were really hoping um, that you might, you know, make it to the mountain uh, in the winter, uh, this is your chance to do it and support the museum. So while you are making bids on items four, five, and six, and I do want to point out that currently, um, Anna, you are the currently the top bidder on the Kameno Island experience. And uh, John, you are the top bidder on that enchanted evening at the beach. And uh, Eric, you are currently the top bidder on that backcountry resort ski package. You have only a few more moments, make your bids. And while you're doing that, we wanted to show you some more of those wonderful images of what the Nordic spirit means to some of our close friends and supporters. Here's some of what the Nordic spirit means in photos. Here they are. So lovely, and um, we wanted to show you. Uh, a, oh, oh, we got to see. We got to see. Oh, skull, skull again. And we want to thank all of you who are doing this. Um, Jenny, thank you. Rita, Suzanne, Ula, thank you. And Charlotte, and Jenna, and Susan, and Vigo, and Mina. So many skulls coming in uh, for the National Nordic Museum. Uh, you know, we hope. Oh, and Raymond, and Annelise, and Jenny, Francine. Oh, so many people. Thank you, thank you. And skull, skull to you as well. <laughs> There's a lot of skulls, it's good. Um, okay, keep, keep scrolling, we, we appreciate it. And we have to go on to the next round of live auction items, okay? Um, uh, oh, Judith, okay, good. I'm glad you're working on this, this is great. Um, remember, okay, it looks like people are helping you, I'm so glad. Uh, and here we go. Our next round of live auction items, are you ready? Because uh, it is time to do group number two, which includes the Kameno Island, uh, amazing Kameno Island package. And if you haven't been uh, up to Kameno Island recently, uh, I can tell you from personal experience, it is quite a, a lovely place and you're gonna get to do all kinds of fun things, including the zip line and go to the, um, that wonderful um, little Kameno shopping area and have a lovely, lovely time at the commons. Uh, so please make a bid on the Kameno Island um, experience. The Enchanted Beach Evening uh, is coming up as well with, and I can see that Sheila, you're currently in the lead and the backcountry ski package with all of the really amazing, awesome gear. If you would like any one of these three live auction items, you have two minutes to go. Two minutes remaining on items four, five, and six. Anna, you are currently the top bidder on the Experience Kameno Island package. And it looks like Sheila, very nicely done on that Enchanted Beach evening. And Eric, you are currently going to the mountain. And now you only have about a minute and 50 seconds to go. If you would like a uh, one of these items, now is the chance to make a bid. Remember, auto bid is your friend. And it looks like uh, Anna's in the lead. Lisa, if you'd like to come back and make a bid on Kameno, now's your chance to do it. Sheila's in the lead on the Enchanted Beach evening. John, if you want to make one more bid, you've got about a minute and 30 seconds to go. This is your chance to bid on items four, five, and six. Skull, Mr. Sir Eric Nelson, we uh, were so grateful for your bid. You're gonna be heading to the nice and chilly mountain where you'll get to go incredible backcountry skiing and be taken on a behind the scenes trip um, when you go with uh, with Leaf Jackson. So if you'd like to go, now's your chance. You've got about, about a minute and 15 seconds to go on items four, five, and six. Anna, you're doing very well on Kameno. And it looks like uh, Sheila, you're still in the lead on the, the Enchanted Beach evening. And uh, if you would like, you've got Mr. 
Mr. Eric Nelson. Now, I do want to point out, nobody should feel badly about outbidding our executive director. He'll be fine with it. Just, I can see people are thinking, oh, we'll just let him have it. You don't have to let him have it. He'll, he'll, he'll be fine. Or you can let him have it in the auction. That's, you know what I mean? You've got about one minute to go. Your final opportunity to make a bid on items four, five, and six. Kameno. Oh, Anna's got her auto bid turned on. Nancy, you've been outbid. I'm so sorry. Anna, nicely done. If you'd like to make another bid, you've got one minute remaining. Sheila's in the lead on the Enchanted Beach evening. And now it looks like Eric, you are just, he's sitting there hoping nobody gets uh, wise to the fact that he's going to be the one in that, uh, getting all the, the backcountry powder. And now Anna, your, uh, your, your auto bid is turned on. Nancy and Anna going back and forth. Nancy, you've got to bid one more time to find the top of um, Anna's auto bid. And now you've only got 45 seconds remaining on items four, five, and six. And Sheila, you're still in the lead on that enchanted beach evening dinner. You're going to be sitting there on that beautiful Bremerton coastline uh, having a lovely, lovely meal. And Eric is in the lead on the backcountry ski package. And now you've only got about 30 seconds to go. Last bid's in right now. Kameno Island is going to Anna. Nicely done. You get to do fun things like the canopy tour in the comments. And it's going to be, uh-oh, uh, are we having... Um, are we back? Yes. Everything's good. Uh, okay. Um, and okay, great. And now it looks like Sheila, you're in the lead and uh, you've only got about 35 seconds to th wait, 30. Did we say 30? 30 seconds to go. Anna's in the lead and it looks like Sheila, you're doing great. And oh, Stanton just jumped in on that backcountry ski package. So sorry, Eric, no longer in the lead. And now you've only got uh, about 20 seconds remaining. 20 seconds to go is all that's left in our second round of live auction items. Four, five, and six. You've got 20 seconds to go. Last chance to make a bid. Anna's in the lead on Kameno and Sheila's in in the lead on the Enchanted Evening, and Stanton just jumped in on that backcountry ski package, and now you've got 10 seconds to go. Make your final bids right now. Remember, auto bid is your friend. 10 seconds remaining. Nine, eight, seven. Last chance to make a bid in our second round of live auction items. Anna, you're doing great on Kameno. Sheila, you've got the Enchanted Evening. Stanton's got all the skiing. Six, five, four, make one final bid. Three, two, one and sold, 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 multi sold. All the selling has happened. Congratulations. Uh, nicely, nicely done. And uh, Anna, congratulations. You are going to Camino Island. And Sheila, congratulations on the Enchanted Beach evening. And Stanton, amazing, wonderful. You get to go skiing with all that great stuff. Um, now, I know it's really warm, as you can tell. I'm just a little bit warm because, you know, it's really warm right now, as I'm sure many of you know if you're in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Uh, our um, third group of live auction items is coming up in just a moment. And group number three includes items seven, eight, and nine, which uh, seven is the Shill Shoal Boat by artist Steve Jensen. And Steve, uh, I wonder if you would be willing to tell us about this piece that you are so generously offering. Thank you. Hi, I'm Steve Jensen. I'm thrilled and honored to um, participate in the National Nordic um, Auction this year. This is a piece that we'll be auctioning off. Um, my boats are meant to represent a voyage or journey. Perhaps it's a voyage to the other side or the journey into the unknown. Thank you, Steve, and for your incredible support of the National Nordic Museum and this beautiful piece. Um, and I can tell you that Mara is currently the top bidder. If you'd like to bid um, on, on Shilshul Boat, now would be a good time to do it. Group number three will also include item number eight, the Lake Wenatchee getaway in the most incredibly beautiful Lake Wenatchee home. You'll be able to sit in the hot tub. Well, maybe not today. Maybe today is not the day, uh, but you know, just turn it off and then you'll be able to sit in the hot tub um, and the incredible view. If you'd like to go to Lake Wenatchee, item number eight is for you. And item number nine is the multi-island Hawaiian adventure with airfare from Alaska Airlines. You get to go to Kauai and the big island. And we have a very special guest, Joe. Would you tell us there's a special piece that people get to do when they come to the big island? We'd love to hear about it. 
Aloha from Kealakekua Bay. I'm Joe here with Big Island Bees. We're happy to have you here at the National Nordic Museum to help support tonight's festivities of the 2021 Northern Lights Auction. We are happy to be able to support through our donation of a private tour here on the Big Island. It's just one of the many wonderful adventures that are included in this package. So bid high and please do your best to support us here tonight. We hope to see you in person very soon. Aloha guys. Aloha Joe, yes, we would love to come and, and somebody is going to get to come very, very soon. Um, and I can tell you that right now, the uh, item, uh, Mara, you are currently the top bidder. Linda, if you'd like to make one more bid, uh, now's your chance to do it. Keith, you're going to Lake Wenatchee and um, Sheila is doing that Hawaiian adventure. Now, before we um, do the, bi the bidding on our third round of live auction items, uh, just a quick note that if you're having any difficulty with YouTube, if you refresh YouTube, that will often help uh, your YouTube feed. If you just hit refresh, and then remember after you hit refresh that you want to hit live chat again. Make sure that you click live chat, you'll be able to see all the chats, um, and that should bring the, the, the live stream right back to where you'd like it to be. Okay, are you ready? We are gonna do our third round of live auction items. This is the chance to, um, to have Steve Jensen's incredible Shill Shoal boat, or to do the Lake Wenatchee getaway, or the multi-island Hawaiian adventure. All right, here we go. If you'd like any one of these items, um, items seven, eight, and nine, you have two minutes to go. Two minutes to go on seven, eight, and nine. Mara, you're in the lead on Shill Shoal boat, on Shill Shoal boat. Shill Shoal boat, it's hard to say very, very quickly. Keith, you're in the lead on Lake Wenatchee. And it looks like um, Sheila, you're going to Hawaii. Nicely done, you've got about a minute and 45 seconds to go on our uh, third round of live auction items, seven, eight, and nine. If you'd like to have Steve Jensen's beautiful skull to whomever is scolding right now. Mara, you're in the lead on Shill, Shill Shoal boat. And Linda and Mara going back and forth, both really wanting that beautiful piece from Steve Jensen. And now you've only got about a minute and 30 seconds to go. Very, very quickly right now, Lake uh, looks like Lake Wenatchee is currently going to Keith. Leah. If if you'd like to come back, Keith is in the lead and you've got about a minute and 20 seconds. Sheila is in the lead on a multi, that trip to Hawaii, the Big Island and Kauai. You get to go to Big Island Bees and do all kinds of fun things. You've got, um, it looks like you've got uh, only about a minute, uh, you've got a minute, minute and 15 seconds to go. And I'm hearing from some people that there is some issue with YouTube. We are working on the YouTube issue right now, uh, but the bidding is still happening in Greater Giving. In Greater Giving, you can make a bid right now. So uh, keep focused on your uh, mobile device and that is where you'll be able to make a bid on items seven, eight, and nine. Seven, eight, and nine are going to close right now. If you would like to make a bid on any one of those three items, this is your opportunity to do it. So specifically, Shill Shoal Boat by Steve Jensen. Lake Wenatchee, the incredible Lake Wenatchee house. Keith, you're in the lead. And now Sheila is still in the lead on that multi-island Hawaiian adventure. You've only got about 15 seconds remaining on our third round of live auction items. Third round of live auction items right now. If you'd like to make a bid, this is your chance to do it. And it looks like Sheila, you're still doing great on Hawaii. Keith is going to Lake Wenatchee. Mara is gonna be taking the boat. You've got 10 seconds to go. Make your final bids. Remember, auto bid, max bid is how you can be sure you will be the last bidder at the last second. You've got nine. You've got eight. Make your final bids right now. You've got seven. You've got six final bids on seven, eight, and nine. You've got six. And I just wanna make sure before we close this, are we sure that everybody is able to hear the countdown because we don't, would, you, would somebody just tell me in the chat, um, yes, we can hear the countdown, or yes, or we can hear you closing the, the live auction, because I don't wanna close it if you're, if you're not able uh, to know that it's happening. Somebody tell me, okay, good, Maya, that's very, very great, I'm so grateful, thank you for the help. Okay, Is, and other people also, um, okay, thank you, perfect, I just, that, you know, didn't wanna make, uh, perfect, Allison, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna start from five, here we go. Final, final. <laughs> Can you hear but trying to bid? <laughs> well, that's perfect. Okay, here we go. Make your final bids right now. Mara, you're in the lead on the Shill Shoal boat. Keith, you're in the lead on Lake Wenatchee. And it looks like Sheila is in the lead on the um, Hawaii trip. So here we go. Five, four, three. Final bids right now. Two. Mara, you're doing great. Keith, you're doing great. And it looks like, oh, Sheila's auto bid. Ruth and Sheila at the last second. One. 
and sold. Nicely done. Sold, sold, sold. Booty sold. You are all so congratulations. Thank you so very, very well. Woo! Oh, look at that. Okay, congratulations. Uh, Mara, thank you so much and congrats. Keith, enjoy Lake Wenatchee. And Sheila, going to Hawaii. Nicely done, Sheila. We have one round of live auction items that is yet to come. Uh, but before we do, um, there's one more incredible um, uh, uh, group or pair, couple, uh, who wanted to offer a little skull. Vincent and Steve, would you give us a little skull? We're so grateful. Thank you for your support of the National Nordic Museum. Skull. Skull to Vincent and Steve for all of your support and to all of you um, who are sculling right now. Um, so our final group of live auction items includes items 10, 11, and 12. Item 10, the Snow Star Condo in Sun Valley, Idaho. Skull to you. And I can tell you that Jay, you are currently the top bidder. Nancy, you might want to come back and make one more bid. The Dinner for 10 at Scandinavian Specialties. Scott's in the lead, but Captain John Geert, you have the opportunity to come back and uh, item number uh, 12, the week stay in Brokhus, Denmark with airfare from Iceland Air. Um, and Rita, you are currently the top bidder. Carol, this is your chance to make one more bid. Before uh, we go into our final round of live auction items, uh, there's a, a special friend who is part of item number 12, who we are so, so grateful because when you go to um, Blokos in Denmark, you will actually get to visit this person's museum. Uh, Bit, could you tell us what, what's going to happen? And we're so grateful um, for your support of the National Nordic Museum. Uh, hi, Bit, how are you? Hello, Nordic Museum supporters. I'm Bit Weile, and it is wonderful to join you tonight. I wish I were able to be there in person, but this is the next best thing. Uh, yes, a very good thing uh, to get to come um, from, uh, a very good thing to get to come from, from here and visit you. Um, although we would of course um, like to have you and come visit us as well. Um, that, would be, uh, that would be really, really great. Um, so uh, items, uh, 10, 11, and 12 will be available in, or we're going to sell them in just a moment. But before we do, um, we wanted to show you just a couple more of these wonderful um, Nordic spirit um, uh, uh, images that people um, sent in. Um, so here is a little bit more of what the Nordic spirit means uh, to some of us. Here it is. So, so lovely, thank you. Um, and uh, yes, the Denmark trip is a life, uh, the trip of a lifetime. So here we go. If you um, would like uh, to, um, if you would like uh, to, to make a bid, um, you can do so. And, and I do have to say, um, we were so, so fortunate because Scott and, La and Kathleen Bruski, um, they actually called in and purchased a second uh, Norwegian Christmas dinner for $2,000. And we're so, so grateful to the Brewskis for that lovely, generous donation. So thank you so very, very much. Um, it is time to sell items 10, 11, and 12. If you would like to go to Idaho or 
if you would like the Scandinavian specialties dinner for 10, or if you would like to go for a week in Blockhus, Denmark, you have two minutes to go. Here's your two minute warning. Now, I can tell you that Jay, you are currently in the lead on that Sun Valley, Idaho adventure. And Allison, you are currently in the lead on the dinner for 10 at the Scandinavian specialties. And Rita is going to Blockhus. But uh, Carol, you're, if you wanna come back, you've gotta re maybe take another bid against Rita. Rita, you're in the lead. And now you only have about a minute and 45 seconds to go on our final group of live auction items. Jay, you're in the lead on Idaho. Nancy, this is your chance to come back and make one more bid. If you'd like to go to Idaho, uh, this is your chance. And it looks like Miss Allison, you're in the you're in the lead on that dinner for 10 at the Scandinavian Specialties. Rita, nicely done on the week in Blockhus. And now you've only got about one minute and 30 seconds to go. A minute 30 on all three of our final live auction items. Rita, Carol, if you'd like to go to Blockhus, now's your chance to come back and make one more bid. And now you've got about a minute and 20 seconds to go. Jay's in the lead on that Sun Valley trip. And Allison, Allison, you're going to that dinner for 10 in Scandinavian specialties. Carol's now in the lead. Rita and Carol's in the lead on that, that uh, week in Blockhus. You've got about a minute and 15 seconds to go. Carol, you're currently doing very, very well. Remember, you're going to get to visit Bit and the museum and have a wonderful time in this beautiful house. Uh, Rita, this is your chance if you'd like to come back and make one more bid. Now you've got about one minute to go. One minute remaining on our three final live auction items. And Sun Valley is going to Jay. Well, Jay, you're going to Sun Valley. That's how that works. Allison, you've got the Scandinavian Specialties Dinner for 10. And it looks like, uh, Allison, you're doing great. And Carol's in the lead on that week in Blockhus, Denmark. And now you've only got about 45 seconds to go. Carol and Rita both very much wanting to go to Denmark. And Allison and Scott both wanting that dinner for 10 and Scandinavian Specialties. And it looks like, um, Allison, you're also in the lead. Allison, you're doing very well. I can see that you're bidding in multiple places at the same time. Nicely done. And it looks like Cindy's now going to Idaho. Nancy, Jay, if you'd like, you only have about 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds remaining on our final three live auction items. Allison, you're doing great. And it looks like Lois! just jumps in. Carol and Lois is in the lead on that week in Blockhus, Denmark. And now you've only got about 20 seconds to go. Nancy's going to Idaho. Cindy, Nancy, Jay, Jay and Cindy, if you want, you've got to come back because Nancy's in the lead. And now you've only got 20 seconds to go. Allison, you've got that dinner for 10 at the specialties. And Lois is in the lead on that week in Denmark. Carol, this is your opportunity. Rita, you might want one more bid in the last 15 seconds. We've got 15 seconds remaining on items 10, 11, and 12. And now you've got the final chance. Cindy! is going to Sun Valley. Nicely done. Cindy's in the lead. Oh wait, Stanton. Stanton just jumped in. Cindy, Nancy, if you want to make one more bid, you've got about 12 seconds remaining. Stanton's in the lead on the on the Sun Valley, Idaho trip. Uh-oh, Cindy's in the lead. Stanton, I'm so sorry. Stanton, uh, he got outbid on that trip to Idaho. And now you will, and Lisa is now in the lead. Lisa, oh no, Scott and Lisa and Allison, but currently Lisa's in the bid, uh, got the Scandinavian specialties dinner. You've got 10 seconds to go. Lois is in the lead on that week in Denmark. Now you've got nine. Eight, Cindy, you've got uh, Sun Valley. You've got seven. Lisa, you're doing Scandinavian specialties. Lois, you've got six. You're going to Denmark. You've got five. You've got four. Make your final bids. Three, two, one, and sold. Sold, sold, sold. Muti sold. Nicely done. I don't speak all of the Nordic languages and, and I really appreciate you all. You can laugh, it's fine. I'm just, you know, I get excited. Um, thank you, thank you, congratulations. And Cindy, nicely done. You are going to Sun Valley. Lisa, nicely done. Dinner for 10 at Scandinavian Specialties. And Lois, congratulations and have a most, most wonderful time in Denmark. We can't wait to hear about all of it. Um, and yes, Jenny, that was in fact who you thought it was. Um, we're so grateful for all of your support. Uh, and you know, tonight is an evening of celebration of this wonderful community. And this past year has of course been challenging, very challenging. Um, and our museum and community has not only survived but really, we have stepped forward with Sisu during this time to serve this community. And we embraced the limitations that came from having to close for nine months last year. We, we recognized that 
that this community still was interested in programs and, and our staff innovated to bring virtual programs that we were able to bring um, to all of you and to many more at home. And, and as we did that, we actually were able to realize that there are many, many people across the United States and beyond who are interested in our museum and in our programs. And virtual programs enabled us to transcend the geography of being in the Northwest, being in Seattle, being in Ballard, and really live up even more fully to that national designation that Congress um, be, you know, bestowed on us and that we earned. So your support tonight enables that spirit of Sisu to continue as we move forward in recovery. And we're so, so grateful. Um, you are supporting all of the upcoming exhibitions that are coming to the museum. And I can tell you that we have some amazing things coming up, including um, Among Forests and Lakes, which are landscape masterpieces from the Finnish National Gallery. We are one of the very few places outside of Europe that will be, um, that this exhibition will be available. And we are the only place in the US where you will be able to see these beautiful paintings. And then in the fall, Mother Tongues, which is an exhibition of the artwork of a Norwegian mother and her two Dominican Republic daughters will be coming. And, and also in October, Paper Dialogues featuring the paper cutting of our dear friend, Norwegian Danish artist Karin Bitvaya in collaboration with um, Chinese professor Xiao Wang, uh, Guang Zhao will be coming. And in the spring, Sweden's National Museum will be sending uh, From Dawn to Dusk which are Nordic art from 1880 to 1910, including the works of, of some of the greatest Nordic artists of our day, such as Anders Zorn. And we can't wait to launch all of these projects, and we can't do it without all of you. You make it possible. We are so excited to see all of you back in the museum very, very soon, because really there is so much to be shared. including all of these beautiful exhibitions that we want to show you right now. Um, and we want to take you right inside the museum. Uh, so please check these out. It was heartbreaking to shut down, not just once, but twice. We've worked hard to ensure the protection of our collections and our staff who have given so much to this institution. But the impact on the museum and the larger community has been devastating. In so many ways, it was our Nordic spirit that got us through the hard times of the pandemic. As the pandemic forced people to stay at home, a wave of nostalgia fell across the country. Maybe you felt it too. Maybe we were looking for comfort or lessons in resiliency from generations before who also went through hard times. I think of the spirit of the people that participated in the Great Migration, the hardships they endured and the resilience they displayed as they left their homes for the unknown. That spirit was alive while the Nordic region was under siege during World War II. There's so many stories of courage as people pulled together to survive that time of great suffering. That Nordic spirit still inspires us. We ask people today what the spirit means to them. They sent us photographs and stories of hope and resilience. I sent in some photos of my great-great-grandmother, Barrett O's daughter, Hagebach. Um, she lived and homesteaded in western Minnesota in Lekaparo County. Barrett lived in that sad house until 1903 when she died at age 93. She was a remarkable woman. Well, I think basically she would say, work hard, don't give up, keep going, life will get better. Enjoy your family, be good to your family and your neighbors. I sent in a, a bunch of family photos. My parents and grandparents are immigrants from Finland uh, to the United States. 
Mom is an avid sewer and quilter. Uh, last year she sewed about a thousand masks that she gave out uh, to friends and family, to community groups. And to me that really kind of captures that Nordic spirit of practicality in the, the sort of moment of crisis for everybody. She sort of was like, what can I do? We cherish that Nordic spirit now more than ever. That spirit is the cornerstone of the National Nordic Museum. I'm so relieved the pandemic is coming to an end. Soon we'll be able to gather in person to celebrate our community. And with your help and financial support, we'll be bringing people back together for exciting events and programs in the coming year. The museum is a place where we can rebuild our community. And that is incredibly important as we come out of this pandemic. I'm Jan Blackburn, and this is my seven-year-old granddaughter, Hudson Blackburn. COVID has been so devastating this year, and this coming year, we will be rebuilding our community once again. We have so missed the museum. That's why tonight, we are asking you to dig deep and raise the paddle. Jan, thank you so much. And, and to all of you, thank you so much because it is your support that allows us to share the National Nordic Museum with our, with our children, with our, uh, with our grandchildren, with our families and parents and grandparents. And I love, <laughs> I love that, um, that community is happening right here during uh, this part of our event. So Lisa and, and, um, and Allison are like working out deals on how they're gonna share one of the live auction items, which <laughs> is the perfect embodiment of this community and the way that it comes together um, to celebrate and support the Nordic spirit and the Nordic communities um, and to share that with so many. Um, I, I love it, skull to you. Um, so if you can help us um, to continue this important work, to continue to make this museum this heart of our community, this is the moment when we would ask you if you could raise your paddle. paddle. And thank you, thank you, Elise Nesselquist Bruski and Alex Bruski. We're so, so grateful for your support. Um, and if you could help us with any amount, we would be so grateful. And Eric, thank you so much, Sir Eric Nelson. We're so grateful. Um, but you might consider helping us with one of these amounts. Maybe you want to consider 50,000 or 25,000. Eric, thank you. Or uh, maybe 10,000 or 5,000 or 2,500, 1,500. 250 or a hundred dollars any amount um, we are so we would be so so grateful and Mika thank you thank you thank you we are almost to a hundred thousand dollars and Pir, thank you thank you thank you we're so so grateful oh my goodness Pir, thank you for your generosity we are hoping to raise $250,000, and if you can help us get there, we really want to thank Cindy Manis for your incredible generosity. Belinda and Lyle, thank you, thank you. We are over, we're $106,000. We're so grateful for your support. Um, if anyone can help us with any amount, we would ask you uh, to do it, please. Um, any, every amount is so, and Kurt and Genevieve, thank you, thank you, we are so grateful. And Robin, thank you so much. Um, if you can, right inside, Greater Giving is where you will find the opportunity to support the National Nordic Museum. Mark, thank you, thank you. We're at almost $115,000 on the way towards our goal. Please, anyone who can support this community. Linda, thank you, thank you. We're so, so grateful for your support. Um, and Christina, thank you. Thomas, thank you so much. And Bruce, to all of you who are supporting. Burton, thank you so much for your help. Uh, we're so grateful. Every amount helps us to, Maria and, um, Marianne Kind Jackson, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're so grateful to Nancy, thank you. To our board members who are being so generous, thank you, thank you. And Dr. Elizabeth, thank you, thank you. Denoma, thank you, we're so grateful. Um, and Lisa, thank you, we're so grateful to, your, to you and to the whole Top de Marca family. Uh, Christina, thank you so much. All of your support is so, so uh, appreciated. Um, Christine, thank you so much. And as you are um, uh, making uh, such lovely gifts, I do wanna tell you that our Raise the Paddle will continue to be open uh, until Monday at nine o'clock. 
So if you know anyone who wasn't able to be with us uh, here this evening, thank you, Julie. We're so grateful. You can invite them uh, to come and make a contribution towards the National Nordic Museum uh, before Monday at 9 p.m. And that will be part of our Raise the Paddle. Um, so, so please um, remember that you can share the link to this live stream and people can see the lovely videos that we've been watching. They can make a contribution um, to our Raise the Paddle. And our silent auction also is going to be open until 9 p.m. this evening, which means you have 45 minutes to to bid in the silent auction. Don't miss out on our lovely silent auction items. If you can help us with any other additional gifts towards our Raise the Paddle, any amount that helps, uh, that, that feels right uh, for you, we would be so grateful. Um, and, and we also wanted to take another opportunity to thank our amazing sponsors. So would you give one more huge round of applause to Aleutian Spray Fisheries, Inc to Glacier Fish Company, to Integrated Marine Systems, and Chevron, and People's Bank, and Trident Seafoods. Chuck and Diane Bunrant, we're so, so grateful. To American Seafoods, Long, uh, American Seafoods, Longfelt Law, and Malone Law Group, and to all of our wonderful business supporters. We are so, so grateful. Um, we have really, uh, all of your support this evening has, has really just been, we're just very, very grateful. And thank you um, to all of you and I wanted to say, um, auction committee, uh, would you mind um, just, you know, I know you wanted to say thank you as well. So auction committee, thank you to you. We're so, so grateful. Hello from the 2021 auction committee and thank you for attending. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Skull auction committee, we appreciate so much. Uh, and and oh yes, there it is. There's the bell. Um, and particularly, um, we wanted to um, uh, welcome the president of the board of the National Nordic Museum, um, Mr. Tom Malone. Tom, thank you so very very much for your support um, as well. Sandy, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tom, welcome. Thank you, Ian. And thanks very much to all of you. What a wonderful event this has been. We are so pleased to have put it on, particularly after this one COVID year that all of us have had to endure. It is so great that we're all back here uh, together again. So first, I want to thank specifically, uh, once again, this group that, uh, that has help to put on this auction and the auction committee. And that's Kristen Nesselquist, Annalisa Berger, Heli Soko, Jan Blackburn, Sharon Friel, Mary Ann Kind Jackson, Sophia Taylor, Nancy Carr Roach, Linda Christensen, and our terrific staff that has worked so hard, uh, Jenny Iverson, William Ekstrom, Sheila Stickel, Eric Peel, Rachel Ballister, and Caroline Perry. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Eric Nelson and the rest of our board members. Uh, and of course, Montero Productions, our MC, a. Ian Lindsay, and the creative and hardworking volunteers for putting on such a wonderful night for us. And now that these COVID restrictions are over, I wanna invite all of you to please come and look at the, the wonderful exhibits we have. Currently we have Among Forests and Lakes and it is a great exhibition. It's getting rave reviews from people. It's really very approachable and nice. And so please, we're open again. We've had a few events. We are so pleased to be back, so pleased to be with you. And we hope you'll come out and enjoy the museum for the rest of the year. So once again, good night and thank you for this great uh, evening that we've had this evening. Good night. Skull, and thank you, Tom. Okay, I'm gonna do it now. Mm. To all of you, Skull, thank you very, very, very much. Uh, we cannot wait to see you at the museum. We can't wait to see you here. And I wanna say, we are at $167,000 um, in our Raise the Paddle, well on our way towards our goal. Please, um, and thank you so much for all of your support. Belinda and Lyle, thank you. Kurt and Genevieve, thank you. Robin, thank you. Um, please continue, um, invite people to come and support us and all of your support. We're so grateful. As we head off into the evening this uh, tonight, we have some special guests who would like to uh, sing for us. So we will see you all next year at the Northern Lights auction 
Here is the Sphere Choir to sing us out. Thank you and good night. Thank you, Scott. Good night.
And I'm Eric Ryan at the top of Bald Mountain in Sun Valley, Idaho. Here's to the National Nordic Museum Skull. Oswald Bjelland sending our greetings to the National Nordic Museum in Seattle, where we have been so many times to see your beautiful city and the museum. And we are sending our greetings from... Bjelland, on the western part of Norway. Skål for the Nordic Museum. All the best, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye. Skål to the National Nordic Museum! We are open. Welcome back. We all could use a little Higga now. And the home of Higga in Seattle is the National Nordic Museum in Ballard. Welcome. Online reservations make sure there's plenty of room for your visit. The museum's wide open spaces make it fun and easy to stay safe. might learn something new about those Vikings. And we always have new exhibits for you to explore. The National Nordic Museum is your community space. Come to be inspired by the stories and the Nordic values. And enjoy the museum store. Then stop at our Freya Cafe for some treats. And when you come to the museum, Add in a stroll around Ballard for some of the best shops and restaurants in Seattle. We miss you. Hope to see you soon.
And I'm Eric Ryan at the top of Bald Mountain in Sun Valley, Idaho. Here's to the National Nordic Museum Skull. Oswald Bjelland sending our greetings to the National Nordic Museum in Seattle, where we have been so many times to see your beautiful city and the museum. And we are sending our greetings from... Bjelland, on the western part of Norway. Skål for the Nordic Museum. All the best, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye. Skål to the National Nordic Museum! We are open. Welcome back. We all could use a little Higga now. And the home of Higga in Seattle is the National Nordic Museum in Ballard. Welcome. Online reservations make sure there's plenty of room for your visit. The museum's wide open spaces make it fun and easy to stay safe. might learn something new about those Vikings. And we always have new exhibits for you to explore. The National Nordic Museum is your community space. Come to be inspired by the stories and the Nordic values. And enjoy the museum store. Then stop at our Freya Cafe for some treats. And when you come to the museum, Add in a stroll around Ballard for some of the best shops and restaurants in Seattle. We miss you. Hope to see you soon.
I'm Eric Ryan at the top of Bald Mountain in Sun Valley, Idaho. Here's to the National Nordic Museum Skull. Oswald Bjelland sending our greetings to the National Nordic Museum in Seattle, where we have been so many times to see your beautiful city and the museum. And we are sending our greetings from... Bjelland, on the western part of Norway. Skål for the Nordic Museum. All the best, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye. Skål to the National Nordic Museum! Welcome back! We all could use a little Higge now. And the home of Higge in Seattle is the National Nordic Museum in Ballard. Welcome. Online reservations make sure there's plenty of room for your visit. The museum's wide open spaces make it fun and easy to stay safe. You might learn something new about those Vikings. always have new exhibits for you to explore. The National Nordic Museum is your community space. Come to be inspired by the stories and the Nordic values. And enjoy the museum store. Then stop at our Freya Cafe for some treats. And when you come to the museum, add in a stroll around Ballard for some of the best shops and restaurants in Seattle. We miss you. Hope to see you soon.